Supreme Court nominee Justice Barbara Frances Akayensu has refused to critique the Supreme Court verdict that birth certificate is not a proof of a Guinean citizenship until she is approved by Parliament. This was after both Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu and First Deputy Speaker Joseph Oseusu asked for her view on the matter. Two of the four judges nominated for the Supreme Court appeared before the appointment committee led by Chairman Ju Osewusu and the Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu. The committee was ready for the nominee charges. First to appear was nominee Justice Barbara Frances Ankayensu, who turned down an invitation from the Minority Leader Haruna Idrisu, appointment committee chair and first deputy speaker Ju Osewusu to critique the Supreme Court verdict that birth certificate is not a proof of Ghanaian citizenship. Honorable Chair, I cannot critique, as I'm sitting here, a decision of the Supreme Court. The only time, if you confirm my appointment, the, uh, there is the jurisdiction, the review jurisdiction, and if there is a review application before the the Supreme Court, and I'm, I am by your confirmation there, and I'm empaneled, then I would have an opportunity to make an input. She also answered a question from the former Deputy Interior Minister James Agaga that suggested that the Supreme Court is being parked for political reasons. As a matter of practice, generally speaking, Nominations to the Supreme Court are made when there are vacancies. When some of the Supreme Court judges are going on retirement, and as we are speaking here, a number of them have gone on retirement, thus creating vacancies, and hence my nomination. The Supreme Court nominee also reacted to an Afro-barometer survey that showed lack of confidence in the judiciary, suggesting that the survey is inaccurate. It is a fact that there is some amount of corruption, but I do not think that the Afro-barometer, the uh, statistics that they have, is correct, because when they talk about the judiciary, they bunch all of us together. They bunch judges together with judicial staff, with investigators, with uh, prosecutors, and bunch it all together as the judiciary. So maybe we will need a more scientific way of determining this. But having said that, it is also a fact that even the slightest loss of trust and confidence is not good for the judiciary. Justice Akayensu, however, called for an urgent need to intensify public education on alternative dispute resolution mechanism, on capital punishment, where her fate, morality, and convictions were against the law, the Supreme Court nominee insisted the law must be upheld.